I'm Matt Long. I'm a principal software development engineer at Microsoft. I'm also the technical evangelist for Snyder Electric. Digital disruption is kind of a concept of evolutionary change. And as companies begin to produce uh, new and different products and technologies, it changes how we formulate what we do with customers. In the case of our partnership with Snyder Electric, we've had to use new technologies in the cloud, and we use that because it gives us great scale and flexibility for the end users of Wonderware and simplify the ability to deliver for the partners like Snyder Electric to their end users. Most of it has to do with how the systems are architected in order to deliver the solution. And with a lot of choices in Microsoft Azure, over 106 different components, it becomes kind of a daunting task to figure out what the best thing to use because some of the solutions are, are, are optimized for particular needs. And for IoT companies, uh, it revolves around uh, a couple of sets of things that are kind of interesting. One is what's actually out there in the field. And they want to enable what they currently have so that they can get more information out of it and do analytics on it and provide more value. The second part of that is net new, where there is a device that's being created in production, might be a new version of an older device, or it might be a brand new device. Some of those might be uh, enterprise enabled, some of them might be consumer products. And the behavior of that is actually different. And so we have to solve problems about how things get connected. And at the end of the day, it's the, anal the analytics behind the solution that actually add most of the value to it. The tools that we have in the Cortana Analytics Week at Microsoft that Snyder Electric currently uses help you go through an enormous amount of data to get down to the, the points that actually make sense that create action. So we have to use a, a array of analytical tools to try to get to the value and unlock that from these large data sources that are coming in. So, so as this voluminous data is being produced by many devices, millions of devices, this data needs to be analyzed. We can use machine learning to determine what the behavior of those devices are, when they might fail, uh, when they're efficient, uh, if they might have a property that needs to be remediated at some point and determine very discreetly what might need to happen. So we model what's happening by the data that's coming in and once we have a model of the behavior of the devices, then we can predict its failure. And by doing that, we can unlock all kinds of value and efficiencies and optimizations for the end customer. With machine learning, we can look at uh, the failure mechanisms. And I think that that's an interesting way to look at the world, be able to predict something that's gonna happen through that. Now, Wonderware currently uses Azure Machine Learning to do that. And when they make a detection of a failure, they create an alert and they send that directly in the form of a text message to the user that needs to know about it, right? And this connection of the right data at the right place at the right time to enable somebody to remediate a problem is what one of the things that Wonderware has been able to do with some of the Microsoft tools that are behind that. 